Hi friends, welcome to my kitchen. I am Amy and in today's tutorial, I am going to be showing you how I make my rainbow buttercream and I will also show you a few different ways to pipe it using just two piping tips. So what you're going to need is you are going to need three shades of buttercream. I've already colored this one red. I've got a light blue and then I'm going to make a yellow buttercream, but you can choose any color that you want. Um, you will need your piping bags, your piping tips of choice, some scissors, and then some plastic wrap. All right, let's get started. Okay, now when I color my buttercream, I like to use food gel. It's very concentrated and you don't need a lot. I like to use AmeriColor brand. Also, Wilton is a great chef master. They all work. I'm just gonna put one little drop in here. I'm going for more of a pastel look. So I don't want a lot of food gel in there. You just need a little bit, a little goes a long way. And we're just gonna stir that in. I think I want it a little tiny bit darker than that. All right, I've got my buttercream completely blended. So I've got my blue, my yellow, and my pink. I'm just gonna set that aside for a second. Now I'm going to get my plastic wrap, and I'm just going to spread a piece out. It doesn't need to be very big. Cut that. All right, now I'm gonna take my first color of buttercream, and I'm just gonna get my spoon and just kind of place it. I will get another spoon and just kind of scoop it out. This doesn't need to be like a perfect line. However, you can, if it's in a piping bag, you can pipe it out. Just pipe a line right there. It's totally gonna to work just using a spoon. Just kind of straighten it out, line it up. Kind of making sure it's it's pretty uniform, just so you get the, the color distribution will be best if you can get it uniform. We'll do the same thing with our yellow. Just gonna kind of place it right next to the blue. That's pretty even. I'm just gonna kind of spread it out a little bit, just making sure get it as uniform as possible. That looks pretty good. And last, we will get our pink buttercream and do the same. Now, if you wanted to put more colors, you definitely can do that. I've done the full color spectrum of the rainbow. I've done seven colors. I would just do a little bit thinner, thinner lines, but today I'm just going with three, but any number of colors you can do. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna lift up one edge of this plastic wrap and I'm going to roll it kind of almost like you're folding it in half like that. And place the plastic wrap down and then just continue rolling it over with your hands. Now on this end, I'm just gonna twist it nice and tight, just so it stays put. And on this end, I'm going to twist it, but I'm going to cut, I'll lift it up so you can see. I'm gonna cut right about there, not just on the plastic part, but I'm gonna cut where the frosting is. That way you'll get all three colors coming out at the same time. Okay. Set that aside. I'm gonna get my plastic bag next. And for this first one, I will be using the Wilton 1M. It is the semi-closed star. And I'm going to just cut an opening in my piping bag. Open it up. Drop the tip in. Give it a squeeze. Make sure all those points are exposed. Okay, now that I've got my piping tip secure, I'm gonna just fold it over and make a nice big opening, as big as you can. 
Then we're gonna take our buttercream and lift it and just slide it down into the piping bag. Unfold your piping bag and you're just gonna twist it where you had that twist earlier with your saran wrap. Now I always like to give it a little bit of a practice just to make sure all three colors or all the colors that you're using that they all appear before I start. So I'm just over here on the side, I'm just gonna make sure, there we go. So just at first it was just the yellow and the pink, but as I went along the blue also um, came out. So that's where I want it. First we're gonna start with the classic rosette. So just holding your piping bag vertical and starting in the center with a medium amount of pressure and moving in one slow continuous motion, we're gonna spiral outwards to the edge of the cupcake. And then when you get to the end, you're gonna let go of the pressure and pull it away. If this end is sticking out too much for you, just gently tap it into place. And there is our pretty rainbow rosette. Let's try a different, a different look. Let's do another rosette, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give it a lot more pressure and I'm going to do the rosette much more slowly. So I'm gonna start in the center, piping bag is vertical, and I'm gonna give it lots of pressure and we're moving really slow. Working our way outwards, when you get to the end, just let go and pull it away. Totally different look, right? This one has a lot more ruffles than this one, but it's the same piping tip. We're going to use the same piping tip and I'm going to go with a classic ice cream swirl. So this time we start on the outside, give it a medium amount of pressure, piping ba bag is vertical and we are going to work our way in. And as I overlap, I'll start bringing that circle in a little bit more. Once I get to the center, I'm gonna let go and lift straight up. And there's our classic ice cream swirl. You can see all those three colors in there, so pretty. Okay, let's try one more with this piping tip. I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the rosette. I'm gonna give it more pressure and move slower. And it's going to give more of a ruffled look. There's also more buttercream, so it's going to be a taller ice cream swirl. Oh, but isn't that pretty? So there's the ice cream swirl using just a slightly different technique, just a little bit more pressure and piping it more slowly. But that's the difference in the ice cream swirls with just one piping tip. Okay, let's switch out our piping tips and see what else we can do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get another piping bag, cut an opening, and for this one I'm using the Wilton 6B. This is the open star. You can see all those points there. We're going to be using that one. I'm gonna open up my bag, drop my piping tip in, squeeze it and make sure everything is exposed above the plastic. I'm gonna set that aside because now I wanna get my rainbow out of this bag. So I'm just gonna untwist it. I'm gonna reach in and pull it out, set it aside. Open my piping bag by holding it over my hand, creating a large opening. And then again, dropping the piping bag down in, give it a shake, unfold it. We're gonna twist and squeeze down to the bottom. I'm also gonna give this another test just to make sure, but it's good to go. I see all three colors there. So let's try a couple different techniques here. So we're gonna do the classic rosette, starting in the center, medium amount of pressure, and working our way outwards until we get to the edge of the cupcake. When I get to the end, I'm gonna let go and pull away. There's our rosette using the open star tip. Okay, let's try doing the ice cream swirl, starting on the outside, 
and working our way in this time. Just overlapping and closing until we get to the center, let go and lift. And there's our ice cream swirl with the different colors, so pretty. And then this last one, I'm not gonna do a swirl. I've been doing rosettes and ice cream swirls, but this I am now just gonna apply a lot of pressure and just hold my hand in the center and I'm gonna squiggle my hand back and forth like this. Just applying constant, consistent pressure. Completely different look, but really pretty. You get kind of the ruffles squiggling upwards. So there's our different piping techniques, our different swirls using that rainbow buttercream, all of them so pretty. Okay friends, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I had a lot of fun making it. I showed you how to make my rainbow buttercream just using three different colors. And then I also showed you lots of different ways you can pipe beautiful cupcakes. And if you wanna see more decorating and piping tutorials just like this one, make sure you subscribe to my channel and we'll see you here next time.